So I'm often asked by uh, people aspiring to build wealth, hey Grant, what's, what's the one thing that I've got to focus on, that I've got to do to make sure that I can win with my money so that I, that I can really have financial success? And my response to them is typically something that surprises them. The one thing that you need to have, the secret weapon to winning with money is generosity. Now stop for a second here. I'm, it's more than just giving money away. I actually have a, a pinned tweet on my Twitter account. And in this tweet, I say that imagination, empathy, and willingness are traits of a generous person. But money, money is not. You don't need money to be generous, yet money is easier to handle you're able to grow your wealth better, win with your finances when you're generous. Here's how it works. So there are times in your life that you kind of grow apathetic with your finances. You might be in the process of doing really well with your behaviors, you're saving, you're working really hard to grow your income, and then you just kind of lose sight or, or lose track of where you're going and you maybe then lose traction and you feel stuck. And that feeling of, of apathy with your finances, it's not fun. Or, or maybe you're the type of person who really has a hard time acting on the behaviors that you know you need to have or taking the necessary actions, making the quality decisions with your finances, not just with your expenses, but also with, with your income and your career choices. You have a hard time with those decisions. You feel like you make poor decisions more than you make good decisions. Well, both of those issues with finances are related sometimes to the same thing. And that is my OPIC mindset. If you think that your finances are all about you, it's very, very self-serving and it's not a sustainable mindset to have consistent quality actions. You see, we're all wired to want to make the biggest impact on the world possible. We want to wake up every day and make the world a better place. We want to have long lasting impact on other people in our community. And when you're generous with your money, when you make your money more about other people than you, that gives purpose to your finances. And when you have that purpose with your finances, it makes those quality decisions, it makes the behaviors that are needed to win with money, they happen more often. And, and when there's purpose in your finances, a purpose that's outside of yourself, genuinely making an impact, a positive lasting impact on other people, it's really hard to become apathetic about your finances then. So how do you do it? When you first get your income, the first thing you need to do with every dollar that comes in is be generous with it. Give. I'm not here to tell you how much to give. I'm not here to tell you what percentage of your income to give. I'm just saying give and give first. And don't just do it out of obedience. Don't just do it because I'm saying so in this video. Find a place to give that makes a real impact. Find a place to give that, that you know other people will benefit from it. Find a place to give that you're connected to, that will add purpose to your finances. Now, as I said in my tweet, it's more than just money. Money is not what makes a generous person. Money is not the key to generosity. It's empathy, genuinely thinking of others, caring for others. It's, it's, it's willingness, being willing to try, stop, focusing on yourself, focusing on others, and it's imagination. You can give in so many ways, yes, with your money, but with your time and other resources. And if you're the type of person who says, look, I don't have money right now to, to give with, good. Practice generosity with your other resources, because if you get generosity right with other resources, it makes generosity with your financial resources that much easier. So something I've said on the Stewardship Podcast before is the best intentions require intentional actions. You can have 
the best intentions in the world to make an impact and help in different areas that you care about. But it takes an intentional action to really make that happen. And the cool part about generosity, at least with your finances, is you can use some pretty intentional actions to make a really cool lasting impact. So I'm gonna give some examples of how I found places to be generous to that I'm connected to, but allow me to then make an impact in areas that are important to me. So there was a time in my life where I was living in kind of a lower income neighborhood in central Phoenix, this kind of square, this area that wasn't necessarily filled with the most amount of wealth. And uh, we went to different city programs, even some feeding programs during this time in my life. So as a result, I have passion for people that are in those communities now, uh, those lower income areas, maybe even specifically that area in Phoenix. And in one of our past videos, we did a video helping G Road, which is a company that is taking care of kids and families in this area, of how you could donate money to them over this past Christmas season. So again, I have these intentions to, to really want to help people in that community because I was a part of that community in my life. But those intentions don't mean anything without an intentional action. And now I found a company, I found a philanthropic place that allows me to, with a very simple intentional action, make those good intentions come to life. I also donate money to my church. I, I do a tithe and my family and I pray over that as an act of worship on a regular basis. Uh, but we also, as part of our budget, uh, we set aside money in, say, an envelope or, or a special place, and uh, we call it just our offering. And we'll throw money into that. And we, as a family, are, are constantly just listening for people that might be in need. It could be that we're driving down the road and we see somebody who's in need asking for money and now we take from that envelope and we can give them something. It could be a, another family is, is going through a hard time. Um, maybe they've uh, lost a family member or lost a job or something like that. And now we can take from that and, and buy them a meal or, or pay to have their house clean, something like that. But just having that money set aside, having the intentional action in our budget allows for us to be freer as we're looking for those opportunities. The big thing with generosity, at least financially speaking, try to find something that you care about. And I care about that area in Phoenix. I care about the church that I attend. And I care about my family coming together and, and having an open mind and looking for ways to give and love and serve with our finances. So that's how we've done it in our family. Now, if you want to find a place that you can give to and get connected with, I'm gonna give you two resources. The first one is Charity Navigator. So if you go to Charity Navigator, they have a ton of different nonprofits listed on the website. And they even give details about these nonprofits, such as some of their financials, what their story is, what they're doing with their money. And then they give these nonprofits a, a star rating to see how well they're doing with the money that's being given to them. So that's kind of cool. Charity Navigator is a great place to look for nonprofits to get involved with. But another resource is me. Feel free to reach out to me on social media. I'm very active in my direct messages. Earlier in the video, I message, or mentioned Twitter. So you can send me a DM on Twitter. You can send me a DM on Instagram. And my name is at Grant Bodma on both of those platforms. And you can share with me maybe something that you're interested in. And I'd be happy to tell you about other nonprofits or organizations maybe that you could get involved with based on the things that you're interested in. Now we've had some recent changes uh, with the stewardship media. We had some recent changes in the podcast, mentioned that earlier in this episode. We've had some recent changes to this YouTube channel. We now do at least one video a week through our one minute money tip. And then we have these kind of story form videos that are happening every other week. Would you consider subscribing to the podcast or this YouTube channel or possibly both? If you appreciated this video, this mindset, and even some of the practical steps that we've given you, in this top secret thing about money, generosity. We know that you're gonna enjoy the rest of the videos and other pieces of content that we're releasing on a regular basis.